Hi, hi all. Good morning. So, uh, I have given you questions yesterday. So, before discussing on those questions, this was the questions. Okay. So, the purpose of all these questions was that you have to solve using joins. Okay. I know that these questions can be solved using minus in and all those things of course. But the purpose was to solve this using joins. Few of you have solved and shared the assignment, but you have solve it using other operators in not in okay, intersect but you have to use solve using join try try it okay you will get the answer for this okay so again i will give today's time try your work on this and we will discuss this questions tomorrow uh, so can we uh, hmm. i had okay, a question yeah, yeah so uh actually i was uh, giving a test to yesterday and uh, there was a question then so what is difference between uh inner join and uh, outer join sorry mm -hmm. left join and right join so there were some uh options and there was one option that uh, if we can reverse the table then it's I means uh, it's just reversing the table order so mm -hmm. is it true if you are one minute you have asked so i will answer but i have planned to cover this today but just two minutes i will answer your question if suppose table a left outer join table b okay no no not left outer join. a uh, left join uh, both are both are same after you right outer you don't right outer they both are same your wish okay i will show a you left this. join b uh is it equal to b right join a i will take one minute only okay oh sorry i have written something for the time being to answer your question but i will prove this down the line we will discuss this topics today okay they both are same to answer your question i am not giving any justification why they're same because we will discuss this today but to answer your question they both are exactly same okay any other question no no at least that okay. what i had marked so oh, then we will discuss and by the end of the class today you will understand it that why they both are same okay so guys left joint right joint inner joint self joint cross joint the main concept is same what i have taught you here this analysis if you have concentrated if you have understood how i have told you that how how the analysis happened each in the record of each and every record of parent table will be compared with the each and every record of the child table if you have understood that concept so 90 percent join is over okay if you have not understood let me know i will repeat that but that is the main main what i can say main <clears throat> logic of that okay <clears throat> And always try to understand how it is working, why it is working, why this is different from that keyword. This question should be in your mind. If these questions are not in your mind, so you are equivalent to a 10th class student. Because, <clears throat> you see, if I will tell you what is the purpose of minus, even a 10th class student can understand that. Union, they also can understand. But you have to think what is the difference. Like we have studied yesterday, the difference between in, intersect minus union right so like that you have to think where where it, where it will fail what what will the behavior will duplicate what will the behavior with null records okay fine so today i will give more concentration on uh, left join right join cross join and full auto join okay so this is the table the student table fine your id and name two columns are there id one two three and this is null name is abcd and uh, this is your marks uh, just two other first of all let's do some manual task and then we will try to do this with with the help of queries okay <sighs> okay so uh, the school principal is asking for for the marks of each and every student okay so i have filtered this table and i've shown this to the school teacher sorry 
one minute, please. Okay, so I have shown this to my school teacher principal that okay, this is the master score by B and this is the master score by C. Okay. So for this output, what will be the query? Who will tell me? Quickly, I will have much time. Which will tell me. Select inner join. Inner join directly. I will write inner join. No, no. Uh, uh, a dot ID. A dot ID. Comma. A dot name. A dot name. Then B dot marks. marks. B dot marks from student. From the student. A. A. Join, join, marks B, marks on that's a on a dot id equal to b dot id b dot id. Okay, perfect. So this is the query you have told me. Fine. Four reports are there. This was null, I think. A, B, C, T, three null. C, D. So, keep this character. Let me verify the data. Let this start from. Okay, so this is the telling me marks two two three nine. Fine, so you have this set of data in front of you. Fine. Try to understand this. Very important. Okay, so Mirinal, uh, so I think Mirinal has asked that question. So Mirinal, I told you that you have asked me that A left join B, and then you told me that the need B. Right, join a both are same or not this is the question you have asked right now so yeah. then i told you at yeah Mirinal, this both are same correct then then you might be thinking that if they both are same then why we have this left and right join right if they both are doing yeah. the same task so no need of this right this can do the task for me i can use left why i'm using right this is not required uh, you got my question yeah okay so we will see that as well that why we have right join because left because i told you both can do the task so you you can ask me that okay i will use left always why the sql world uh, the sql and c standard they have brought this right as well what is the need of this i think this is best this is of no use right we will see that why why we need right as well so <clears throat> Let me run this query. So this is the output in front of you. SQL is giving me this output. So first of all, 
hope this is clear this is what we have discussed yesterday as well and i hope this is clear to you all okay mm -hmm. why this id1 is not displayed at the output so because it has no matching value in the joining table in mark because there is no matching value in the mark table id1 is not present in mark table that is why you don't have any output and here explicitly you have mentioned that with the, when the joining condition is fulfilled then only fill in the data right okay now dhania can you tell me why null records are not fetched here not displayed at the output uh, null is not considered as data so it will not match with null null is not considered as data okay Oh, first, ignore that one. Okay, null is not considered as a data. Null is a data. Okay, in some context, it's a data. In some context, it is not a data. Yeah, okay, it's not a data. I will not comment on that whether it is data or not as of now. There are multiple justifications. It is taking the disk space or not, and all these things. Okay, but just the straight answer is that joins they ignore the null. while on the on the conditions like here on this condition id id you have null in both the tables right so ideally it should be fetched because the the condition is getting fulfilled right null is present both there in both the tables and uh, this was a condition right so null should be fetched so just tell that okay uh, joins they ignore null that's all data or it is not a data we will discuss that okay hope this is clear This is the condition. I hope this output is very clear to everyone. Now, now my principal is telling that you are showing the marks of only P and C, but we have a student with name A as well, and uh, we are not showing the marks of A, right? So I cannot give this justification to the principal that, sir, this joining condition is getting failed and all those things, right? he will not understand he is not a technical guy so i will tell that okay you want a as well so i will tell him that that for a we don't have the marks information right this is the logic no in marks table you don't have the marks information for a table so i will tell to principal that sir uh, i can show you that student a record here but we don't have any information about the marks of a whether he has attended the exam or he he has got zero marks or whatever so we don't have any information then he is telling that okay fine not an issue uh, if marks is not there no not a, not an issue just give this marks column as blank principal is saying that i want this information here if you are missing i will be under the impression that in my school only two student b and c is studying but i want the detail of all the student whether they have scored any marks or they were absent or whatever is this clear Yes. Okay. So he wants all the information. So, so for that we have a concept of left join, right? Left join. Sure. So same query, same query. You see, just same query I have pasted here. What I will write? I will write here from a student a left. I will write here left join. Write here left. Okay. This is the only. thing i have added now the moment i will write left so so the sql engine will understand now before before this before this before this okay fine so the moment i will write left the sql engine will understand that okay 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 user wants everything from the from the left table now this is like a bridge this is like a bridge which table is present to the left of this bridge what is the name of that table a ha uh, a that is a student right a yeah, student correct so it means sql engine will understand that the user wants everything every record from which table student 
from a student table. This is the meaning of left. The moment you will write left, the SQL engine will understand that user wants everything on the record, whether it is matching or not matching from the student table. Is that yes. clear? Yes. So now the expectation is if you will run this query, this should be the output, correct? Why? Because, because in this table, in this table A, in this table A, those, these two records, they're already covered when I've used the inner join. Two and three was covered with this, right? Oh. Is it clear? Yes. Now, which record was left out? This and this. Indeed. Correct, no? Those yes. two were left out. The moment you will write left, so first of all, your SQL will search for the matching records. These records are matching. You will get this as an output. Okay. After this, your SQL will, will look into this left table. Left table is a student that what all records are left behind. So you will see, okay, one is left behind, one and A. So you will write one A. And then this is also left behind. It will copy and it will paste it here as well. Hope this is clear now. Yeah. Uh, Tandir, uh, uh, in the, when we do inner join, mm -hmm. so at that time, it will ignore null on the condition, right? Right. And here, when we are doing left uh, left join and we are taking a null in a record. So mm -hmm. after, uh, when, when it taking everything, it will not consider null, right? Mm -hmm. from from left table mm -hmm. so they all only on a condition only it will get filled right mm -hmm. okay pratish okay so pratish very very valid question you have asked a valid question that pratish is asking that then we in inner join this query you told that join will ignore the null right because null was present in both the tables and you told that join will ignore the null and that is why null is not present here fine we we were convinced we have agreed that but now you are telling that in left join what all things are left out so one and this null was left out so this will also be displayed so now you are telling that join is considering null but in this inner join you have told it will not consider null so why see the logic is <clears throat> the logic is if you remember yesterday i told you that that when SQL engine compares null with null. If you remember, I have, I have to discuss that yesterday. I'm not sure where I'm Yes, uh, is null. Uh, no, 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 no. Is, is null is different. Is null is different, most. Is null is different thing. When SQL will compare null with null, it gets confused. So here in the joining condition, SQL was trying to compare this. No, it has taken this null from here. Mm -hmm. It has pasted it here. And then it was trying to compare with each and every record. So we are thinking that this null is equal to null. But but SQL will get confused whenever it has to compare null with null. And that is why whenever SQL will get confused, it will not give you that result. Okay. That is why result was not present here. But in left join, he is not comparing this null with anyone. See, in left join, he is not comparing this. He has just compared this two and three. They got the output. And then after that, he is blindly picking the values which were not compared. So this and this. Suppose, suppose ABC College of Engineering. Okay. In this college, you have 100 students who are sitting for the placement examination and a new company as a TCS is taking some uh, uh, placement tests and all those things. They hired 60 students. Okay. And then you have a company XYZ. He has told to your placement officer that, that all those students who are left out or who are not placed, I will take them. Okay. I will take them. So XYZ will take all the 40 students, right? So he will not conduct any test, no comparison, nothing. He will take all the students. Similarly, your left is doing, he is telling, I will not take any test, no interview, no discussion, nothing. 
all hmm. those who will fulfill the condition once they are placed so all those who are left out i will pick them and i will keep in my company that is why you can see one and null was left out he has taken that so here i am not comparing this null with null that is why the left will give you null record as well hope you understood this yeah uh, so i can say that they will be the two steps first it will take an inner part and then Perfect. it will uh, very take good the, very good very good in the second step good. it will take the whatever left, left out part. records very good so, in second step, it will not compare any condition, right? Ah, ha, 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 ha. In second step, it will not apply any comparison logics. No. Blindly, hmm. he will come and he will keep all those things and it will keep it. Like after after party, one, 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 one uh, what I can say, one servant will come and he will do cleaning, he will, he will throw all the things, right? In garbage. It is like that. Only. This is some, something like party is happening after this. What all things are left or it will bring and keep this in garbage hope, hope this is clear to everyone now yeah okay so now let me run this query here. okay okay this is the output now let's verify this cross check can you can you Check it, is this the same output? Yes. Everyone convinced? Anyone who wants me to repeat this left? Clear, everyone clear? Yes. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Prasad, is this clear? Okay, so same query if I will write in this fashion, what will happen? Same, same query I've just copied and pasted here. I have changed the sequence beat put ID is equal to a dot ID. Is this same as this query? Yes. Okay, they both are same. They both are same. So joining condition you can write anyone you can you can reverse it that's not a problem now now here i have written student a left join marks okay i'm doing some changes here so try to understand what i'm doing Now, try to understand this query. <clears throat> this query and this query, or this query, okay. Just compare it and tell me what is the difference, what, what I have changed here in this query. What I have changed here? Condition. Condition is changed and the table sequence is changed, right? Yeah. Here I have written right join. And here it was left join. So now try to understand the concept of right join first of all. Actually, you don't have to understand the right join. Because it is exactly the same as left join. Okay. If you remember when I was teaching you left join, what I told you that consider this left join as a bridge. Okay. And I mentioned here left. So it means the table which is present to the left of this. So which table is present to the left of this is student. So it means you have to fetch all the records, whether it is matching or not from the student table. Okay. Similarly, if I have, read, uh, if I have written here right join, so this right join is a bridge. Now where you will go? What's left or right? Right. Right. Which table is present to the right of this? Yeah. Student table. 
so what does this mean it will uh, include all the records from student table and uh, matching results from marks perfect it means all the records must be fetched from the student table is this clear yes okay so the meaning of left join and right join exactly same i agree the output will be different but meaning is same no left join means to the left of this right join means to the right of this okay now this was the output based on the inner join we have observed and i think you remember this right now if you will concentrate on this right join right join is this is student table right now take me let take this student table in this student table these two records were fetched as per the inner join right now which two records are left out this one and this one right and your right join is telling to fetch all the non matching records as well so this is non matching you will keep it here this is non matching you will keep it here is this correct yes is this clear to everyone okay. not clear clear okay so if this is clear now tell me the output of this and this they both are same or different same same so whether you write a student a left join marks b this query or you write this query they both are same or not same. so from this query you are telling to fetch all the data from which table from student student from this table you are telling to fetch all the data from which table same student so they both are same yes so mrinal you you got your answer for this Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, now I am repeating. I am repeating. Anyone, please, if you have any question, please ask me because this this is going to be complicated now. That's why I am telling. This is not clear. You will not understand the topics which is coming down the line. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we uh, multiple condition. We can add on condition. Multiple. No, no limitations. You want ten conditions? Add ten conditions. If you want so, to join ten tables, you can join two ten tables. So how SQL will think about the second? Oh, second I, I will tell you that example of three tables, multiple conditions. I, I will come to that point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is clear. Now, now you understood that left join and right join how it works. Okay. So this is the data I have given to the principal and. now he told that okay this is fine this is fine that we have all this information okay now principal is telling that <clears throat> i heard someone has scored 40 principal is telling that i heard someone has scored 40 okay no 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 deep 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 so we were standing here i have given this report to the principal and then he has given the feedback that then we there is student name a his his marks is missing here then i told that sir for a student name a we don't have any marks information that is why this is missing the principal told that okay not an issue so whether marks is present or not show me the all the students name at least okay so then i have then i have then we have prepared this one right we have used this left and we have shown this fine so now principal is telling that in this only forget about this this situation now we are again to the back original place zero point now again i have shown this to the principal now he is telling that that we i heard someone has scored 40 marks but we have not shown that information here so i will tell that okay 40 marks actually we don't have that id information that is missing right now this is the reason no we have not shown 40 here 
because this ID was null and this cannot be compared with this. Then my principal told that, okay, that's not a problem. If you don't have ID and name, that's not a problem, but show me that marks 40. So I will be the, I'll be under impression that, okay, someone has scored 40 and maybe we can get his ID and name after some time. Okay, so now, now his requirement is that, show me this data. Okay, show me this data. But apart from this, show me the marks as well for a student who, whose ID and name is not or not present. So he he wants to to show this data as well. Okay, is the problem statement clear? He wants to display this data as well. Okay. Now for this, you want this data is present in which table? Last. Are you marks table? Correct. Yes. So to cater this requirement, you want non-matching records from which table? Not from student. No, yeah. Oh. You want this record, right? This mm, record is yeah. present in marks table. marks table, but this was not fetched earlier. Why? Because this was not matching mm -hmm. the condition, right? So now if you want this table, you if you want this record, you want the all the records on which table? Marks. Marks table. Hmm. So what will be your query now? Uh, marks table, uh, left join with marks table first, then other table. Correct. So now you will tell to SQL that SQL, I want all the records from marks table, correct? Hmm. So what you will write in this query? Hmm. Here we can write right right join. Right join. That's all. So your SQL will understand that okay. To the right of this, we have marks table. So user wants all the records from marks table. That's all. Let me execute this. Now this is the data. Yes. Or do you, do you think this is same as this? Now you got this 40? Yes. So is this clear? Yes. Okay, this is clear. But uh, uh, he only want 40, right? Wants only 40, yeah. Only 40 is there. Yeah, but... Uh... So we have to use on top of it, we have to use another condition, uh, anything. And because he principal is getting all the marks. Oh, okay. He asking for all the marks, right? Oh, he is asking for all the marks. So we have given all the marks. Okay. But he was telling that even for any marks, ID and name is not present. Show me that as well. So we have shown this as well, right? Okay. Okay. So just clear to everyone. Okay. Any question on this? No questions. Okay, you don't have a question. Uh, Tanvir. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, uh, Actually, uh, I had uh, a question. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let us see. Uh, uh, on one hand, we have to follow the normalization. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we go to mostly second uh, NF, sometimes third to third, third NF, NF third and NF. then yeah. we have to, yeah, then mm -hmm. we have to miss uh, to. Uh, uh, record the data in uh, uh, various other tables. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, for fetching uh, uh, the complete data of a user, let's say, uh, uh, in one and if we have to take care of the uh, mm -hmm. atomicity, so we'll mm -hmm. have to uh, uh, store address at one place, then mm -hmm. each contact number if it's uh, two or more, then again, mm -hmm. some uh, in, in the second normalization and third normalization, if we drill down, then we will have to store it in various tables. So mm -hmm. if we have to face the records of a student, then we, then we will have to uh, make, uh, we have to make many joins. Right. Okay. Right. So that will but, impact uh, the performance. Yeah. Right. This will. So how we can handle it? See, uh, see. Uh, actually, the question what they have asked is out of context here. Okay, but normalization is not mandatory. First of all, but it is good to have if a project is not having normalization so that will be badly impacted 
Yeah. Because that will take more disk space. I think you know all these concepts because you'll be having redundant data, duplicated, not duplicated data, but redundant data. Yeah, redundant, data will be all there. redundant data will be there. And again, if you're writing a query, the query will scan all the report which are scanned earlier. But at the same time, you are thinking that then we, that is fine that you have done the third, third three uh, normalization, third or second, whatever. So I agree that if you have applied the normalization, your data will be not there. But at the same time, you'll be having multiple tables, right? And then you're writing query and multiple joints will be there, correct? And that yeah. will take more time. Performance will be impacted. You are totally right. That will be impacted. I agree totally. But if you will compare that with the case when you are not keeping normalization, that will impact more in general scenario. Okay. But if you have you have to think from volume of data as well. If you don't have much volume of data in your project, if it is very less, you are you are dealing with thousand records, two thousand records. Sometimes it happens. You are dealing with very less number of records. Okay, suppose they are working on effects red tables. Yeah, very less number of records. So in that regard, you are correct. In those scenarios, if you are using multiple joins, that will be not a good choice. Then you can compromise with normalization. But generally. The projects which you'll be working, it will have millions of records. If you're not maintaining normalization, that is something very bad. Okay. So in those cases, those joins is far better. Is far better. I mean, it's if or if far better than not doing normalization. Okay. So it's like that. Suppose you want to buy something branded, almost so you have to pay more money. Exactly like that only. You have to go for normalization. So in the same case, I can understand that you have to do more joints. But even then, that is better. That's the thing I want to highlight. Even then, that is better. Because now your SQL query, SQL engine is scanning less number of data. Okay. So yeah. that, that, that's the thing. But your concern is valid. But sometimes you have to, you have to, have to what I can say, compare two things. Okay. Sometimes it is like that. From that perspective, you are correct. Multiple joints will be there and that will take more time and all those things. But if you compare that with the normalization, that is helpful. You can go with that. Okay, so priority should be on normalization. Uh -huh. That is very important. You should not compromise with that. And that is why you are totally correct. You have multiple tables. You will see that your customer name, information, their contact number, you will store in separate table. Okay. Your, uh, if you have worked, you will see that you will be having a concept of a static table, lookup tables. So why we are creating yeah. those tables? Because that will help in normalization. Otherwise, the same thing you will repeat again and again and again and again, right? Okay. What else I was thinking? Oh, okay, okay. So, so this is clear to you all. Okay. Now this query, if I will tell you that no. Uh, Pritesh, write this query with the help of left join. So how you will write this query with the help of left join, Pritesh? Uh, uh, left join, there's a marks. Sorry, marks. Uh, I'm deleting this first of all. Uh, not tell me. Uh, from? Uh, marks. Marks, very good. A. Not A. Sorry, B. Sorry, B. B, because you're taking marks yeah, from yeah, B, you know? So yeah, right. B. Mm -hmm. B, left join. Left join. A, a sorry um, a student a student a, a that's all on on a dot id equal to b dot id after on condition you don't have to bother you can reverse the sequence that will not be problem okay let me execute this one here Let's see the what's up Rinal, you understood that concept or not because i have not explained in detail no no i, I got it you got it now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the output. Now, is this output same as this output? Yeah. yeah. Same. Same. So again, you can see that you can use the right or left your wish. Just you have to reverse the sequence of table. Okay. So far, I have tried to. I have tried to. Oh, make you understand the concept of left join, right join, and you can use left and right both here and there. Any questions? All clear? Okay. If it is all clear, then 
then, 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 then I have something to show you. This area A, this area A, you can, you can see this area, no? This one, it's, it's visible to you all, right? Area A. Yes. How to color this here? If you want to color this area A, anyone who knows how to color this? No, here you cannot. In Excel, you cannot here I cannot color this color. area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cannot Naming convention would be good. A, B, and C. Oh, that is fine. You all are, you all can understand. No, A means this this area, right? So fine. So if I will tell you this area, I want this area A. So which join I have to use? Inner, left, or right? Inner. Inner join. Inner join. Inner join. I will use. This is clear to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you have this example, okay, and this, this is A, you know, this is A, and so this is B. So this, this went outside here. This is the, I want A and B both. Which join I have to use? Left join. Okay, so suppose this is this is table A. Table one, okay. This is table a. And this is table table two. Okay. Oh, this is clear. So I will write table one. Inner join or join, whatever you want. You can write both of things. Table two, right? This is what you're telling, correct? I have to write this here. Okay. So here, which one I have to use, guys? Left join. Left join. Anyone who, who thinks that no, I have to use right join? No, I cannot use that right join here. No, we cannot. Sure. We can. Arch. We can use right. Yeah, we can, but we have to reverse the table order. Okay. So I can write B left join A. Yeah. Or, or what I can write? A right join B. A right join B. Is this clear? Yeah. Everyone, guys, this is clear. Yes. No, here is the twist in the. <coughs> In interviews, they will give you this diagram, okay, and, and they will ask you that how you can achieve this, and you will tell that I can achieve this left, left, left. But your interview will tell you that no, this can be achieved with right one as well. Tell it is true or false, and you will tell false. Now, is that true or not? Yes. If you go with this statement, you can you can get this output right. Yeah. Fine. Okay. No. Yeah, Emrinal is having question. Emrinal. No, no. Uh, hmm. We can have, but we can achieve it with the A right one. That is clear. Yeah. Okay. We have this one. I'm very slow in this diagram and all these things. Next time. And suppose this is A and B and this is C. Oh, no, sorry, 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 no, not this one. B and this is C. I want B and C and this is your table one and this is your table two. 
sorry this is this is i should not write b here yeah, because this b is the area no i should write table table one left join table two right I should write this table two here i should write table table two right join table one correct now here what i have to write I want B and C both. Tell me. Table one, right join. Table two. Table one, right join. Table two. Okay. Then one more way. Table two, left join. Table one. Join table one. Hope this is clear to everyone. Clear. Yes. So, if I will tell you that this can be achieved with left join only, is that correct statement? No. If I will tell you this can be achieved only with right join, is that a correct statement? No. No. So, that is the problem with most of the cheat sheet. You will see SQL cheat sheet. Yeah. And they will yeah. tell that this can be achieved with left join. But you can achieve this with right join as well. Okay. So, yesterday I have told you, I think, Mukilan or... Okay, someone I joined. Ah, yeah, yeah, Mukilan. So same thing I've told. If you're getting any post on LinkedIn, don't trust on that blindly, whether it is my post as well. Execute it. If you are confused, ask with some expert, whomever, whomever you trust, okay? Most of the cheat sheet, you will get this information. That is correct. I'm not telling that is wrong. But if someone is trying to confuse you, that, Pritesh, can you... Can you achieve this with right join? You will you will say that no, I have observed that in cheat sheet was left right. No. You can achieve this with right join as well, right? Similarly, this can be achieved with left and right both, correct? So far, clear everything. Yes. Now this is having a problem. Tell me what is that problem? This is not correct actually. Can you think and tell me why this is not correct? Who will, who will tell? Are you guys thinking or not thinking? Thinking. Okay. I, I hope I am not confusing you this all these concepts, right? So there, there is a mistake in this in this schematic diagram. What is that? Let me tell you, I think it was confusing. Okay. Shall I give a hint or shall I give the solution? Uh, hint. hint okay. When I have joined this student and marks table, the, the very first example, but this was the example we were discussing, and I have joined this student and marks table. Yeah. This null record was not fetched, no? Yeah, it was not fetched. You guys remember, like this is the put we got and null was not fetched. Why null was not fetched? What was the reason? Uh, because uh, it can be any value. It's not defined. Because SQL it's... cannot compare two nulls. Two nulls are totally different thing. And that is why there is no output. Right? That's the answer? Yes. Correct, no? That's the answer? Yes. Yeah. Now, in this, you are telling that inner join will give you everything which is common in the two tables. Mm -hmm. Correct. That is what you're trying to tell, no? Okay. From this schematic diagram, you are telling that Tanvir, whatever is common in both the tables, so inner join will give you. Correct? Yes. So, now in that way, if you think from that perspective, so null is common in both the tables? Mm. We cannot say no. Why the not? engine will not uh, treat it as a common. No, don't think from SQL engine perspective. Just from this diagram perspective. Okay, suppose, 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 take the example of this. Suppose if this is your bucket one, okay? And in this bucket you mm. have, what I've written? One, two, three, null I've written. No? One, two, three, null. You have one, two, three, and null. Correct? 
and then you have another bucket here and in this bucket you have two three and null i mentioned i think right two three two three null i mentioned or two three null from say two, theory perspective three null ah now tell me what is common say hmm. null two if three and null is common ah if you think from that perspective it is common because the yeah, behavior of null is different from sql engine perspective but if you think from common life they both are same right yeah if you ask a common person who doesn't know sql and all they will tell you null is equal to null so in that case it means null is present in the common area as well and you are telling that the urine as one can fetch that correct but yeah. that is the twist here hope oh, this is clear yeah so so this kind of questions you will get if you are going to attain that data analyst interview this scenario based they will try to confuse you okay but don't get confused so your answer will be that from common perspective you are correct this is the wrong pictorial diagram for inner join but from sql engine perspective this is right because for sql null is not equal to null so we cannot tell that null is common both the, both the places they can be common sometime or they cannot be common uh, hope you guys have understood that so then we can say whatever the common area we in that area we will not uh, uh, pick up the null uh, uh, in the diagram background what are the sorry can, can you repeat here yeah? what are the common area the common area is a right the common area uh, 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 okay. we will not consider the uh, null in that common area oh very good very good if you are thinking from sql engine perspective okay that is what because sql engine is itself he doesn't know that null is what it should be present in the common area it should be present here sometime null value can be equal to null that is also possible but sql is confused sometime it cannot be possible okay so that is why so first of all i think i have not covered the difference between zero blank and null no right have i covered that guys you don't know okay i am not covered i am not uh, covered in your batch right I think it's not. let's let's try to understand the difference in zero blank and null first of all. Okay, I need five more minutes. Zero. You all have time for five more minutes, or shall we cover tomorrow? It's okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Ready. One. Okay. Uh, this is an example I'm trying to use to explain you the concept of zero blank and none. Okay. <clears throat> First two records, this is this is very, very simple that A has scored 10 marks. And B has scored 20 marks in a test. Okay. This is also clear that C has scored zero. Okay. D here it is blank. Blank means like he has not appeared in the exam. So that is why I suppose it's blank or maybe absent, something like that. Okay. So blank is also clear. Zero means he has attended the exam but has scored zero marks. C means it is blank, maybe because you have kept it blank that uh, you have not received the marks information. You are waiting that okay, your class teacher will tell you the marks information. You will put in here. Okay, that's the it's 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 awaited something like that. Okay, fine. Now this is the twist. Null. Null means you don't know. Here in the blank, you are sure that D has attended the exam test, but he has. He has not. Uh, uh, he has to do the test, but uh, but the mass information is missing, right? 
but for e it is null it means you are not sure whether e has attended the exam the test or not or maybe he would have attended the test but still the marks is not available or he has attended the test okay and his answer sheet was not evaluated so a lot of possibilities are there so when you have lot of possibilities you will assign null so you cannot tell here that he was absent you cannot tell that he has scored zero marks you cannot tell that he was the topper or he he has failed so in that situation we will mark as null here is that clear yes okay uh, i am getting a very urgent call now okay so uh we will continue with this tomorrow guys and then yeah. tomorrow we will see full outer join and cross join and then tomorrow i think we will finish this joins and then i will give you assignments so work on the assignments and connect again okay oh, sure. yeah okay thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.